Hey guys and welcome back to my world. So today I've got a smoke screen for you. So as you can see in my inventory, I have a smoke screen and let's say I want to hide this village. All I need to do is I need to throw the smoke screen at all of the areas where I want the smoke screen to be. Okay, and um, you will see that where, where I'm walking that will now appear, there will now be a smoke screen. Now the smoke screen is, is visible when you come close to it. Okay, so as I walk away, you'll see it will actually disappear, but the moment I kind of go close to it again, it will reappear. It's just kind of the way that the particles are working at the moment. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. This is, imagine maps like this where you have to fight your way through, uh, where you can't actually see. Um, now, there's one little other thing that this actual um, smoke screen can do as well as if I just drop the item, you'll see it'll actually make me disappear uh, in, a, in, a, in a puff of smoke. Okay, so this is all down to the new um, particles that we can now actually summon. Not summon, I keep on saying summon, but the new particles that we can actually um, create. Okay, so it's a very simple mechanism. So the first thing I'm doing is I am checking if there is a snowball in the world. So I'm going to test for type equals snowball and I'm going to test for the eldest one. I can actually test for the youngest one as well. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm doing is um, I'm actually spawning a chicken. Now this chicken's name is a smoke screen. So it's a custom name. Okay. Uh, it is also, you can't see it. Uh, it can't move. So the generic speed is set to uh, 0 0.1. Um, it's got a, can't, it's got a attack damage of zero. Well, which not that it's going to attack me. Um, it's got a follow range of zero. Um, and I've actually put an, an invisibility to it as well. So it's pretty much going to just stand exactly where it is when I put down the smoke screen. So let me just put down the smoke screen over here. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Um, yeah, sometimes it's because I've, if, I, if I throw it too close to me, it doesn't work. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to teleport the youngest instance of an entity named Smokescreen. So this is what the C-1 is for. So the youngest instance of Smokescreen, I'm then going to teleport to me. Now, I happen to set up a scoreboard objective called Batman-1 minus one, just so that uh, only me can use the command. So if I am on a server, it's only going to be me. So I'm Batman and it works for me. Okay, so then that chicken gets um, teleported to exactly where I am. It's then going to stay where it is. Okay, if I do throw another, as you can see, if I do throw another uh, snowball, it's going to spawn a new entity and then that entity will be teleported to me, not the older one. Then all I'm doing is I'm then using the new particle explode, okay? I'm creating quite a, a, a big version of it. I'm creating it three by three by three blocks wide uh, as the core, and then as it dissipates, it makes quite a big mess. Um, I'm actually setting the time for it to a 0 0.0. 0, 1 seconds, so it's got a, quite a long time to live, and I'm setting the density of to 1,000. I mean, if I set the density to less, so if, let's say if I set this density to 10, and you turn around, you'll see that it's not quite as effective. Can you see that? Okay, so if I do put the density back to uh, 1,000, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you'll see that it'll immediately go quite quite dense. Um, and then I'm also just doing a, uh, just like a, a the black, the, you'll see there's little black bits. So this is the black bits over here. I'm not making it quite so dense. Now this one I've actually de deactivated, but this is very cool. I'm actually going to, let me just do this as well. I'm just going to do this 3-3 three, three as well. Um, and I'm going to do this slower. Now, now check this out. Um, is it actually doing it now? No, it's not doing it. Why is it not doing it? Um... Unknown command, particle lava, blah, blah. Uh, it's because I don't, it is name, sorry, uh, name equals uh, smoke screen, okay, right, this should do it now, so let's see, look at that, now isn't that awesome, <laughs> okay, this can get very, very hectic, now if you actually um, if you maybe change this over here to spawn a, so let me just quickly uh, just swap these commands around, copy. Um, what I'm going to do is let me just spawn a uh, a bat. So I'm just going to take, take out this movement speed over here, and I spawn a bat. This also looks very very cool. Okay, so let me just do that, and I'm just going to do bat. <coughs> Okay, um, let's do bat over here. So if I now spawn a bat, let me just, you'll see it will actually now kind of fly around, which 
<laughs> and then so from time to time it'll kind of explode. This is hectic, man. This is hectic. Look at it moving. So this thing actually moves around. Uh, when you move out of space, uh, out of range, it does this very cool like firing effect. But the moment you move back into range, it'll kind of be you know doing that. So let's just see if we can um, really look at that. Isn't um, joined be here by Stormosaurus? Isn't that <laughs> cool? Hey. <laughs> right. Cool, so that is really, really it. This is absolutely awesome. So guys, yes, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.